90 seconds after launch in April 2012, this North Korean rocket exploded. It was the latest in a string of disappointments for Pyongyang's fledgling space program. Eight months later, a different story. A North Korean observation satellite reportedly made orbit. Two of the scientists behind that launch deny claims from Western observers the satellite was damaged, essentially becoming space junk. It's running normally, says Yun Chung Hyuk. Of course, sometimes we do have problems with communication and data transmission. The National Aerospace Development Administration, NADA, has so far seen more stumbles than success. That's not stopping North Korea from annual increases in space spending, even as wealthier nations cut back. The U.N. World Food Program says 18 million North Koreans, 70 percent of the population, is food insecure, highly vulnerable to food shortages. Is this a program that your country can afford? It's essential, he says. Our goal is to improve the economy and people's living standards. He says observation satellites will lead to advances in weather forecasting and agriculture, helping North Korea reach its goal of producing enough food to feed its own people. Late leader Kim Jong-il made science and technology one of North Korea's three pillars of power and prosperity, along with ideology and guns. Many international experts say Pyongyang's space program is really a ballistic missile program in disguise. We find that absurd, says Hyun Gwang-il. The United States and its followers are trying to stifle and isolate my country. He claims North Korea already has ballistic missiles that can hit anywhere in the world. The U.S. and its allies also worry about Pyongyang's growing nuclear arsenal and suspected cooperation with nations like Iran. If I tell you which countries are cooperating with us, the United States will accuse them of developing intercontinental ballistic missile technology, he says, adding fear of bullying and sanctions scares away prospective partners. Crippling U.N. sanctions have hurt but not stopped North Korean space ambitions. These scientists say at least two advanced satellites are ready to launch any time. Their message, especially to the American people, Pyongyang's, quote, peaceful space program poses no threat. Trust us, he says. The West is too suspicious about our program. If you won't trust us, at least suspend the sanctions and don't stop us from going forward. Despite decades of isolation, sanctions and struggle, North Korea continues developing its space program. While they'd like international cooperation, they say they'll keep going with or without it. Will Ripley, CNN, Pyongyang, North Korea.